right, it is five o'clock. We'll go ahead and begin this meeting of the City Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would ask if you have a cell phone, if you just make sure that that's on silent. Our first item on the agenda this evening is the approval of the minutes from the Tuesday, July 7th, 2020 meeting. I make a motion we approve the minutes of the July meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay, Mr. Sheline. Um, you want to touch base on case P09-V-20? We we have a letter from the petitioner, uh, case P09-V-20. They've asked to pull it from the agenda till further notice. Uh, I don't think anyone is in the audience for this case. We've had a couple people earlier. We did let them know, so they've left. Um, so we'll, we'll get that back on the agenda whenever the petitioner sends us an email. Okay, thank you. Yes. So our next item on the agenda is case P10-V-20. Yes, petition of Dan Fawcett requesting a variance of 7.4 feet to section 3.12 minimum rear yard setback in an R4 zone at 1520 Haynes Avenue. And Mr. Fawcett's here to represent the case. Okay, has there been any ex parte communication regarding this case? No. Okay, thank you. Um, do I have a motion on case P10-V-20? I move that we approve case number P10-V-20 and adopt the findings of the petitioner as those of the board and make those findings part of the record. Second. Thank you both. Okay, um, Mr. Fawcett, if you don't mind coming to the microphone, if you'd state your name and your address for the record and just go ahead and tell us what it is you're wanting to do before you get into your findings. I'm Dan Fawcett. Uh, my address is 979 Lakeside Court, Kokomo, Indiana. And uh, my petitioner's findings of facts is that number one, this granting of this variance will not interfere with the public safety in any manner. And on number two, if this variance is granted, the addition will match the existing home as much as possible. And number three, this situation involves a very odd shaped lot. The owner wishes to add on to her small kitchen, and if this is allowed, it will add to her quality of life. Okay, thank you. Can you explain what exactly what exactly it is she's wanting to do? Yes, it's a eight by twelve addition to the back of her existing kitchen, and uh, when it goes to the back of the property, that's where we get into the variance request. It's on an angle and uh, there's a point, and if you saw the design, you would understand exactly what I'm talking about, or if you've been out to the property, I had it marked. Okay, thank you. Mr. Sheelan, do you wanna share the staff findings? Sure. Uh, staff findings for case uh, P10-V-20. The approval will not be injurious to public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Granting this variance will not be detrimental to the surrounding community. The planned addition will not encroach on any easements or right of way. The use and value of the area adjacent to the property included in the variance will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. Granting this variance would allow the petitioner to build an addition onto the home in an area that does not meet the required setback for the R4 zone. This is a compatible addition for this area and will not negatively affect the neighboring properties. The strict application of the terms of this zoning ordinance will result in a practical difficulty. This situation should not be self-imposed nor be based on a perceived reduction uh, of or restriction of economic gain. As the petitioner's lot is very oddly shaped, it's difficult to meet the rear setback requirements. The staff supports granting the variance of 7.4 feet in order to build the 12.6 by 8 addition to the home, which will be 7.6 6 feet from the property line. Okay, thank you. 
possible? Is this going to be a one-story addition? Or? Yes, it is. The house is a two-story, but this part of the house uh, has a small kitchen extension out in the back that is one story. So it would continue on that. And this is, I will point out, this is one of those interesting cases that if, if you notice the uh, R4 district um, requirements and standards um, in our packet, it's one of those interesting cases that the same structure, if it weren't attached, which wouldn't make sense for a kitchen, but if it weren't attached, it could be um, a little bit closer. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, just one of those times where it's a little bit odd. And then the, if you didn't make it past the property, you can see on the diagram that's been provided um, that there's just the alley there. We've heard both the, the findings of fact and the information from the petitioner, as well as the finding of, findings of fact from the staff. Are there any questions from the board for the petitioner at this time? or for Mr. Sheline. Is there anyone in the audience wishing to be heard regarding this case? We do have a motion for the approval of P10-V-20, and it's been seconded. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 And opposed. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Our next item on the agenda is case P11-V-20. Yes, the petition of Jamie Burns for Old Navy requested a variance of 109 aerial square feet, as well as a four-foot variance of section 3.281 of the State Road 931 overlay and the C2 zone on property at 2132 East Boulevard. Okay. Do I have a motion on? Well, first I'll ask any ex parte communication regarding this case. No, no, okay, thank you. Do I have a motion on this case? Move that we approve the case P 11 V 20 and adopt the findings of the petitioner. Those of the board make these findings part of the record. So moved. Thank you both. Okay, um, whoever's representing this case, if you step is here. Okay. Ms. Burns, if you'd step forward, state your name and address for the record, and kind of first tell us what it is you're wanting to do, and then after that, okay. do your findings. Um, my name is Jamie Burns. I'm here for It's Permittable on behalf of Old Navy Stores. Um, my address is 1955 uh, Bells Ferry Road, Marietta, Georgia, 30066. Um, right now, the customer is looking to put a larger uh, set of channel letters up to match the larger facade that we have in this uh, shopping center. Um, they feel like it would be more visible. The site is like uh, an odd-shaped trapezoid, sort of, and it sits at the intersection where there are other smaller businesses sort of blocking the way they feel like with a larger channel letter set, they would be more visible to um, the traffic at the intersection, allowing better reaction time for drivers to uh, locate the property, the business, in a safely manner. Um, did you want me to read these? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Uh, number one, the granting of this variance will increase the business's visibility and maximize driver reaction time to safely maneuver the vehicles to the desired location. The proposed signage is harmonious to the development as a whole and is proportionately sized to the dust door front facade. Two, if this variance is granted, Old Navy signage will not block any existing or nearby tenant signage in the shopping center, nor will it diminish the value of the development of the community. And number three, the request is not based on corporate greed and is a respectable brand looking to maximize visibility to the community. In addition, the requested square footage is similar to the surrounding businesses on existing signage. Um, they did also ask for me to offer um, if the six foot um, the signage is not allowed with it being 109 uh, square feet over the allowance. They also have a five foot option they would like to present as well if possible. And that only comes up to a total of 159 square feet so about uh, 30 square feet over your allotted signage, but still the height variance. Okay, thank you. I would have to defer to council on that if, if we come, I mean, if we get to that point, unless you want to address that while it's fresh. Um, I mean, I think we can kick that into fact, but let's have further consideration first and okay. discussion. Okay. Okay, so we've had the staff's 
I'm sorry, we've had the petitioner's findings of fact, a little bit of an explanation of what they're wanting to do. Um, Mr. Sheline, let's go ahead and do the staff findings okay. and then we'll open the floor to the board. All right. The approval will not be injurious to public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the community. Granting this variance will not be detrimental to the surrounding community. The use and value of the area adjacent to the property, including the variance, will not be affected in a substantially adverse manner. The variance will not fit in with the surrounding area. The ordinance standards were sp specifically created to protect the aesthetic well-being of the city from unnecessarily large signs, including wall signs. The progress of these efforts can be seen throughout the nearby State Road 931 corridor. Granting this variance would allow the petitioners to have much larger signage than what has been allowed to any other petitioner. The US 931 overlay zoning ordinance went into effect in 2012. A variance within this district has not been granted since 2004. Many new businesses have entered the city and adhered to the standards, and many existing businesses have rebranded or updated within the standards, and their signs are highly visible from the road. The strict application of the terms of this zoning ordinance will result in a practical difficulty. This situation shall not be self-imposed posed, nor be based on a perceived reduction of or restriction of economic gain. As the petitioner would be allowed signage the same as any other business in their zone, they do not have a practical difficulty. They are allowed signage that is clearly visible from the street compatible to all other businesses in this area. Large signing is no longer a necessity with the advent of GPS and cell phones. The staff does not support granting this variance as it completely goes in opposition of the intentions of the standards put into place. Um, and I will, I will say that uh, not only uh, here uh, at this particular, uh, out here where they're wanting to go in, we do, we do appreciate Old Navy wanting to come back to our area. Uh, however, uh, just as we've done at the Markland Mall, when if you remember when Washington Prime came in two or three years ago and redid that whole area, uh, our, our, our ordinance on the 931 overlay allows for two-foot letters. Uh, we have we have allowed other petitioners t to go up to three foot on Markland Mall because that pretty much makes it standard across that whole shopping area. Uh, there's no one in, in at the Boulevard Crossing that has six foot letters. Uh, I, I'm just I'm really afraid that we open up that that box that we would never be able to uh, to take care of that. We have offered. Old Navy to put three foot letters up um, uh, as, as we have everybody else. Uh, so I think that's I, I think that's something that that we could work through. Uh, but I'm I just I'm totally against the six foot letters because there's nothing. I think even uh, uh, Coles out there they I believe their letters are around four foot, but they got a variance uh, way before the new overlays came into place in 2012. So. But even with that, there's nothing. There's nothing out there that that has six foot letters. And this is just on the facade, correct? Co on the facade, yes. The they are, they are allowed the to be. They are allowed to be on the multi-tenant sign. That does not. That does not count against their overall sign. Okay. So. Mr. Chairman, I guess I'd like to make a statement. I was fortunate enough to be a member of the Planning Commission when all these changes was made. And I do know for experience and everyone that worked on them worked extremely hard and come up with what I feel is a very good uh, structure to go by. I mean, we went from how, what the speed limit is, how many feet you are away from the, from the main or the thoroughfare and all of those things. Uh, knowing all the work that went in there, I, I got to, you know, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with Mr. Sheline. It's, uh, we're going to open a can of worms here, in my opinion. And it's, it's certainly nothing against Old Navy or nothing anybody else that wants to come in. It's just our standards, and I, I, I think we've, we've cleaned that corridor up considerably already. Uh, we have a lot more work to do. Uh, and I, I just think that, that granting the variance of six foot letters would, uh, would be detrimental to what we're, what we've been attempting to do for the last several years along that corridor. And the, the standard is feet, three feet? The standard is two foot. Two we, feet. We, we have allowed, 
We have allowed three foot uh, at Markland Mall because that's pretty much what everybody out there had. So it made it aesthetically more pleasing that everybody could be continually across the whole front facade. It looked nicer, and that's what we would that's what we would certainly uh, uh, allow for Old Navy to put up there would be three foot letters. Mr. Sheila, you, oh. sorry, you would be so the. You would, you're not opposed to three foot. I'm not opposed to three foot at all because that's what we've allowed. At so that'd be a one foot variance. That would be yes, yes. What I was going to say is I know uh, when they were building that Holiday Inn Express, they wanted that big sign on the end of the building, which basically came along the same same lines as what this was. And Correct. My question to them and my question to Miss Burns is: uh, Is a six foot letter something that Old Navy? Uh, Corporate demands, or is this something that the whoever's putting in the store demands? That would be a question for my superior who deals more with the customer directly. I know that they have set specs as far as the certain signage they like to go with. Um, I believe this request is, is solely based on the side of the facade that they are taking, um, and they want it to be more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, to match a larger facade, you would go with a larger set of letters. I think, did that answer your question? <laughs> Sorry. As well as you could. I Sorry. understand that. We're, we're looking at it exactly the opposite because to us, six foot letters doesn't make it aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. It, it kind of is, is out of, out of shape with everyone else there. Right. That's, that's, that's our thought. Yeah. But, yeah. The only thing I'm trying to find out is, is this, is this something that, you know, the old Navy corporate headquarters demands of their, their buildings or, or. Well, there's different sign standards across the country, I know. Sure. So uh, I'm sure that Old Navy and everybody else runs into these all across the country. We're, we're not the only community right. that's trying to downsize signs. I know right. that for a fact. So uh, I'm sure this happens all over the country. Right. So they, they may have certain specs that they want, right. but, but I'm sure that every, every, uh, every business uh, has, has the flexibility to, right. to go to smaller signs if, if they need right. to. And Ms. Burns, I guess with regard to coming to some sort of compromise, do you know whether Old Navy is willing to accept or mend their, their petitions so that it would be three-foot lettering as opposed to six? Um, I, I do not know. I cannot say for sure. However, dealing with these in the past, I mean, two foot or three foot would be way better than two foot, which you allow. Um, I know that there that would be something that they would and will probably most like definitely do. Um, the five foot option was there because it, it was a little bit closer to your allotted square footage. So I think that's what they want while still trying to get a little bit more extra. So that's where that extra push came in. I, I have I have absolutely no problem uh, approving the three foot. I, I guess the question, Ms. Burns, is we can call for a vote today, which obviously the, the, the commissions against it but we don't know how the board's going to vote and so if you would maybe want to move to continue so that we reset this that's fine or if you want to take a vote today go back to to old navy and ask again i guess i'm going to put the ball in your court and that way they don't have to reapply but I, yeah it's solely your call do, so if if we do go forward with what they've set me in, in place to take which is the five or six and it gets denied they have to reapply for another variance, or can they just reapply for a permit and that get approved at three foot? How would that work with your city? Well, since we have allowed the three foot in other in, in, at the Markland Mall, uh, my my thought would be, uh, I, I think we, you know, if if we want to, we need to vote on this, and if it is denied, uh, then if Old Navy would call us in two or three days and say they're fine with the three foot. We would we would be willing to to we, we could issue that permit through through the planning commission office without have, without having if, to if, if you're okay with that simply because we've done it at the other at the other mall to make it aesthetically pleasing so I'm fine with that if you are to um, to, to kind of move the process along sure. for old that navy way they don't have to apply again they don't have to wait for another month to be heard I would I would Correct. be willing to to do that if if you're okay with that just sure. help move the process along a little bit. Okay, any other questions or comments from the board? 
Is there anyone in the audience wishing to be heard regarding this case? Okay, we do have a motion for approval on the floor for case P11-V-20. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. All those opposed? Aye. aye. Okay, so it is denied, uh, obviously. Uh, but if, like I said, if you want to go back to Old Navy and and offer the three foot, uh, TJ, are you okay with that? That we could, we could issue the permit through the office without coming back before the board. Yes. Okay. Then I'll have that follow up with you before the end of the week. Then okay, for sure. Okay, that'd be great. And thank you could, for your time. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And Appreciate like I said, it. If they, if they if they agree to that compromise. We'll, we'll get the permit to you ASAP. I appreciate it. Your okay. efforts to clean up the city, it's amazing. You guys have a beautiful city. Well, thank you thank very you. much. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, is there any other business to be brought before the Kokomo City Board of Zoning Appeals? I have no other business, Mr. President. Anyone else? Make motion, we adjourn. Okay. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone want to stay here? All right. <laughs> we are adjourned. Thank you all.